this is my current um planting station i, I guess because it's not all propagating that's going on water so this is a hydrangea that is um i don't know what type that's always my issue i don't know what type i um take cuttings of i like to be surprised usually i'll pick a flower that is unique so at least i know that much i'll get out of it um so this is a hydrangea i should have cut the leaves a little bit more to preserve more energy in the stems um so this is it going down and i have roots here um i put this in water maybe uh two to three weeks ago now and that's what it looks like um this is my fig that you could refer to my prior video um Two of them um, are taking a while to take off, but there's one I'll show you at the end that is doing better. I'm contemplating washing off the green stuff that's on my um, uh, stem here, but here's my roots. They're coming along. This one doesn't have roots per se. It has these little nodules there um, that has ear pockets on it, and it's green as well. And I plan on um, possibly taking uh washing the green off of that too but i have some more green here this one was my worst and it's looking a lot better now and all i do is um, add fresh water after a while if it starts to look a little bit murky in there then i add some more um wash wash off my uh, my plant and then uh, put fresh water all together this is a green stemmed hydrangea um, and of course you should have cut the leaves a little bit more um, to preserve energy but basically I have no roots yet but this is what it typically looks like I should take the wrapper off so you can see better as well this is rhododendron um, this is my first time doing this I should have cut off a lot more leaves as I said um, I just have it in some Pedialyte a Pedialyte bottle with fresh water and I haven't gotten any roots yet but according to what I've read they they root pretty well as well and this is a um, hydrangea that I'm not letting go. I'm trying my best to work with it <laughs> to see if I could get a little bit more growth. But that's all I've been getting from that one. Um, a lot of green stuff on algae on the um, my roots. But I have a lot of roots with this one. Tons and tons of roots. Um, I'll move this over so you can see my fig, which I had to move to a larger bottle. I really should plant it outside. But... Um, this is what it looked like when my um well without leaves it looked like this when my friend gave it to me then it grew leaves and then it grew some roots and then it's a freaking monster so look at that so much roots on this thing tons and tons of roots and the weird thing about it is that i'll fill it with water um and within two days um i am literally down to here in water it sucks up a lot of water and this is another green uh stemmed hydrangea that i'm working with and nothing yet these usually take longest a few um maybe a month or more to actually give me a root and sometimes it won't but it'll still look green and fresh in terms of the leaves so i'll just leave it there and pay it no mind for a while just make sure my bottles are good it's always getting light by the windowsill and um since i have these plants over here i have these light this this one light here i got from home depot but um i'll just leave it be in after a while it'll surprise you but the greens the um purple stem one usually give you roots faster just fyi